Hi everybody, I am uh, Dr. Zainab Bora and I'm very happy to have Dr. Rohit Sahu with us who secured rank 49 in the recently conducted INI. Very, very happy and very proud of you, Dr. Rohit, uh, to see you do so well. How are you feeling, first of all? I'm, I'm feeling very great, man. Awesome. Uh, tell us the whole journey, you know, how how did how were you a student in MBBS? How was internship? Okay, so first of all, I am from SMS Medical College, Jaipur, 018 batch. Normally, we used to study the way uh, the college guy, then we used to study, then come home. I am actually a day scholar, so I used to come home, then study for a bit, and then used to go out for play. And then in the second year, then COVID came, everything shifted to online. So we also shifted to online studies. I joined Maro and then in uh, in the final year or I think in the internship, uh, I followed that. And then uh, I mainly focused on the BTR and mainly on the GTs and the things, more, mainly on the tests rather than theory in the final phase. Right. So when you were uh, talking about the internship, so in MBBS, you know, you covered the syllabus, I guess, while while focusing on the exam. So you had made notes. So let's uh, cut to internship. What do you think, uh, you know, was the difference uh, in the strategy? Were you doing uh, GTs regularly? Uh, how were you following BTR? Also tell us how were you doing BTR, you know, because a lot of students uh, want to know ki kaise best use karna hai. Uh, first of all, I, I want to start that if you are starting early, your hmm. main focus should be on making your concepts because at the end you are becoming a doctor. You have to treat the patient, yeah. not yeah. to crack any exam. Absolutely. And in the internship, your main focus should be on how to solve a question with the best possible way. Hmm. So in the internship regarding the GTs, the simple funda key in the initial three months, give uh, one test per month. Uh, the first test should be your baseline. Then for the next three months, give uh, twice per month and then you can give, give weekly. And other than that, the subject-wise test, that should be just to see your progress in that particular subject. Right. Then, uh, regarding the BTR, I watch BTR. Uh, I mainly gave the tests, B hmm. BTR tests. The BTR 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. I started with 3.0 because that was the time I thought ki ab padh lena <laughs> yeah. So I started with 3.0. I used okay. to give the test and yeah. then watch the solution at 2x hmm. and then add the uh, things in my notes. Okay. Uh, remember one thing ki ending me you have to study from one place so if you are uh, following the btr just add all the things to btr or if you are following dvt or any other source or your main notes which you made uh, by yeah. your own hands which are the best so mm -hmm. you should add at that and uh, at that place only because ending me sirf ek jage se pad pate hain you yeah. won't be able to see even see the pages of all the things you have covered in the 5.5 year journey mm. so that is one part and btr i think if you want to know how to prepare it's it's same just uh, as you prepare for neat ug it's same for the neat pg just do a topic a day then do the mcqs add that in your notes and then revise just before the exam and give the test that's all the yeah. only key difference is that NEET UG mein we had three subjects. Now mm -hmm. there are 19 subjects. That's <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so keep it simple, you know, um, one thing which I can um, summarize here is the importance of consolidation, you know, Zada jaga se padna bhi hai, bring it together, you know, in one place, because ultimately revision becomes the key, whatever you read the first time, you may not remember everything. Yes, you'll absorb a lot of it. You can't remove that process. You have to go through that reading, but usme se consolidate in one place so that you revise and then just take the confidence of revision and just appear in the exam so when we talk about the exam uh, you know exam day how was your uh, strategy of giving the exam kya thought process tha kaisa raha aapka exam ma'am i watch your ashirwad class mm -hmm. just the day before that yeah i used to watch every video of yours at 2x but that day i thought ki <laughs> ye 1x pe dekhna because i hope this is the last time i'm hearing from you yeah for a study Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so as you told ki in 20 minutes, you have to attempt 25 questions. I mm -hmm. followed the strategy. Mm -hmm. I tried to complete all the 40, uh, 50 questions in about 37 to 40 minutes and then kept five questions for review and maximum 10 questions I marked for review. Uh, 
uh, actually I didn't mark for review. I wrote it on the back of the admit card so that at the end, if it's a mistake, nothing happens. How many attempts have you done roughly? Uh, I have attempted 194. 194? 194. Okay. So that's quite a good number. I mean, you mm -hmm. must not have left more than two questions, more than two questions in every set then. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. Uh, so, us time pe, uh, you know, what was your process for questions where you thought that these two options were right? Because that's what I think makes the real difference. What comes, it comes. Okay. You got those right. That's for sure. But what about the questions where you thought doubt lag what was your process you know of solving mcqs right like so whenever i faced any question in which i had doubt siddharth sir from dams told mm -hmm. me if you yeah. are taking more than 45 seconds in the in any question you are just overthinking yeah so okay if i thought ki jada time lag hai, i just skipped it and then mm -hmm. kept it for the end so that was my basic strategy but uh, but I yes, I still marked something or the other key ending with chutna nichi question. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So, right. So my, very hmm. important advice is to not spend too much time on one question because chance with every, you know, uh, extra minute that you take for a question. Plus, plus baki sahi hone wale the, unpe pressure bad jate of getting those wrong. So so that's that's a great advice. And and finally, just to conclude, you know, uh, what will be the message that you give to your juniors if you have to summarize you know the entire journey into into one advice or in, into a few advices what would that be See, if you are someone who really wants to go to M Ames Delhi and crack it then yeah. first you should know the exam for example the Ames mainly focuses on first second year so your base should be very strong mm. so first know your exam know the skills you need to solve it at the end it is an mcq exam so your mcq solving skills should be at the top yeah whatever you prepare during your mbbs should be mainly based on your theory your basics and then in the internship phase you should give more and more tests because the teachers know how the INI will ask the questions so that will be based on the previous year topics and the important topics. And then you should form your base around those topics because as ma'am say, says, ki PYQ repeat nahi hoga, PYT repeat hoga. So hmm. focus on that and FOMO mein mat rao, just follow one teacher from whichever subject you like. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so keep it simple and, and you know, focus on both. You know, you've done the theory earlier and that has translated in a lot of long-term information and then focus on solving MCQs closer to the exam and learning that skill. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rohit. It was great uh, talking to you and, and wishing you many more achievements uh, in life and, and hopefully we'll see you in Ames Delhi soon. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.